Redditors that have a fake degree or bought their degree online. How did your life turn out? What's your story? Did not complete two year college program for food service management. Put it on resume anyways. Nobody ever asked. Worked for three years at $22 slash hour. Got an online DD degree just to piss off my wife's sex who is a preacher. I insist he call me doctor. I teach at an international school in Shanghai. I have a master's degree in education. Guy I work with faked his bachelor's degree and we have the same job. Seems to be working for him. For now. I used a fake degree and fake resume for a high profile translation job. Next thing I know, I'm on stage next to us President Obama, and I have no idea what I'm doing. So I just start improving my own sign language. People tell me I made a gigantic ass out of my entire nation. But this was in South Africa, and I have schizophrenia too, so pretty much to be expected. I may as well have a fake degree, because I don't remember shit from college. Friend of mine dropped out of our college junior year and made a copy of my diploma with his name on it. Since he works in theater it doesn't seem like his fake degree in history has helped to hurt him. More of a conversation piece at this point since experience trumps all in theater. However one of my coworkers at a startup was discovered to have a fake degree when we were acquired and the large company did a background investigation on all technical staff. He said he had a degree in computer science from U of M. He was a fine programmer, better than me, but he was fired immediately. His girlfriend also left him. So that didn't work out super well for him. He's now taken a job, but the story has gotten out, and he was forced to accept a much lower paying position than he had before. My advice, for what it's worth, is that it serves little purpose. Eventually you'll get caught by an employer. It's becoming more common to check, and colleges will confirm, if you graduated or not. Especially for technical degrees, where your salary can greatly be determined by the degree you have, and where you got it from. But for an English or history degree, since it doesn't really help getting a job go for it. Saves you thousands of dollars, but be ready to get caught. I had a 12 year programming career on the back of my AA in humanities, that I conferred on myself for eating a lot. Nobody ever looked, or even asked until, ironically, I went after a side job teaching programming at a local notorious technology diploma mill. It's an accredited school, but it's fairly well known that it's bullshit. Anyway they made it clear they would be sending away full transcripts and I fessed up, and told them my resume was bullshit, because I didn't really give a fuck about the job, it was a lark. They hired me anyway, I was the most knowledgeable programming instructor they had. The place was so depressing I quit after the semester. A good friend of mine did one of those ridiculously expensive online degrees. He paid a Russian to do a large majority of the degree. My ex faked a degree from London School of Economics. Was managing director of several Fortune 100 companies. Currently seer of a Fortune 500, hash 2 in their area. Narcissist, sociopath, generally a really not very nice guy who most people would find charming and likable upon first meeting, but I digress. One can only hope it catches up with him. I unwittingly faked a degree for several years, and it was discovered during a background check when I was making a big career move. Basically got offered a job offer with a much higher rate of pay and full payment to cover a cross country move and I accepted because I was in a bad situation at the time and wanted to use this as a way out. After I resigned and packed everything I owned, the hour lady called to tell me there was a problem. It seems I didn't have the degree I was claiming. I called the school and they researched it, but they were about to renege on their offer since it seemed all shady as fuck and they were already on the hook for a couple of grand just to relocate us. Turns out I never paid the filing fee, which was eliminated the year after I left. The clerk typed a few lines into her computer and suddenly I had a degree. It amazed me that I'd gotten the jobs I'd gotten with such a blatant lie on my resume. I assume everyone checks everything now that the internet makes it so easy, but then I assumed everyone was checking everything before too. Been lying about my degree for about 2 or 3 years. No one has ever checked. It's in a very high pressure, high profile industry. In reality, I was a terrible student and partied way too much. 
one reporter worth anything could finish me, but journalism apparently ceased to exist long ago. Whatever. Party on Wayne. My friend paid for a degree from some random online school. He wrote exactly three very bad one-page papers, never had anything to study, no other assignments, etc. Was immediately hired by Chevron doing middle management, and makes dollar sign 60k a year. Still doesn't know the difference between their slash their slash their. Not really a fake degree, but I do, have added more automotive repair experience on my resume than I really do. I have more than enough experience and knowledge for my line of work, to be safe and responsible, but I could have never landed my current job without stretching that truth. I taught English overseas from 2002 to 2005. Our school grew from one of the smallest in the city to one of the largest in that time. When I started I was the only foreign teacher, and then they promoted me to head teacher, and asked me to hire others. The ironic thing was they actually had education. Life was good, booze was cheap, friends were plentiful. Then I had to move back home, because immigration started cracking down on that stuff. So I traveled the world and now do a shitty day job, but at least I'm happy pursing art and acting. So, in the mid 1990s, I knew this guy among a group of friends who completely faked his inserts and college degree. We all knew it, but because he knew buzzwords, and applied a certain charm, he managed to land some amazing six figure at architect job. His only previous experience was retail sales at Egghead Software. The first thing he did, was start taking advantage of the company's free training and educational assistance. Eventually, he got some actual certification, and over the years, a real college degree, under the guise he was updating his training in an ever-changing market. During these years, he changed jobs a few times, taking advantage of company buyouts, layoffs, severance packages, poor hour communication, and other ways to game the system. Each change he listed the former company in his employment history and a mixture of fake education and real certs. By the early 2000s, he legitimately had all the stuff he needed to get a high level TS clearance at secretary job right after 9 over 11. Not sure what he's doing now. I used to be mad, but now I just think that's amazing. One thing mentioned is diploma mills, but did you know there are employment mills? These are fake companies you pay some fee to have them say, yes, he worked for us for 7 years as a project manager. He was awesome. I see this more in India and Eastern Europe more the America, but I'm sure a lot of companies here have unwittingly hired someone who paid a few grand for these services. Guy at university that I worked at faked a degree, became assistant vice president of university, basically, person in charge of day-to-day -day operations of the university that weren't related to academics, scams the university out of one dollar, two million, we think it was more, through various invoicing schemes. University finds discrepancies, fires him, pays him about $755,000 in severance package, then calls police, and has him charged with fraud, along with a number of other people, tries to sue him for the severance package, university loses lawsuit as they gave him the money, suspecting what he had done, instead of phoning police. On top of that, he managed to beat the criminal charges as well. The head of computer science department of my college had just a bachelor's degree in from a shitty university of a different state in India. But when he came to the college for the vacancy he had brought forged papers of him having a master, a PhD and another masters in philosophy. Apparently the college management was delighted when a person of such great qualifications that two from out of state univs came him and promptly put him in charge. He knew nothing of SITEMS, nor has even worked in a Linux environment. He refused to hold staff meetings and cashed out all the academic leaves that he can get. He got paid like RS1, 20,000 slash month which is pretty pretty huge in India. He stayed for or and one and one half years total. One day the bursar called him for something entirely unrelated and he panicked. He left the college immediately leaving the forged certificates behind the college launched an investigation and found out that he was a fake. College hushed it up. To prevent a PR disaster. TL. Dr. Prof forged all certificates of qualification. Op is considering buying one. There's a story my dad was telling me of this lady that was an engineer in a lead position for like 20 years before they found out that she didn't actually have a degree. 
she was terminated shortly after. Happened in Houston a few years back, but I cannot remember what position specifically that she held. Not me but a buddy of mine. His brother went to Taiwan to teach English, and since my buddy had nothing going on in his life, so he decided to follow him over there a few years later. He never finished community college, but all the schools there required a BS or above. So he did what any self-respecting man would do, he forged a master's in education from a state school in Photoshop. He's been teaching English in Taiwan for almost 8 years now, has 3 schools he regularly teaches at, K5, and also private tutors for a few rich Taiwanese adults. Oh, he's also there on a 90-day tourist visa, so every 3 months he has to leave the country for at least 1 week to be able to renew his visa, so he takes 1-3 to three week vacations every 3 months. He's been all over SE Asia, China, Japan, Australia, NZ, ETC. He has a small house on the beach in a rural city, has a hot girlfriend, a dog, and works 5 hour days 4 days a week making great money. It turned out pretty damn well for him. Anyone know where I can find a website that sells fake degrees not that I'm going to purchase one, now that would be silly. There was a high ranking official from the Department of Homeland Security who was dismissed for using a fake degree. Homeland Security. Degree verification is rare. Many our people do not verify. I once interviewed a woman for an executive level of management position. She had an online masters in the field and expected the job based solely on that merit. When asked about her experience within the career, she had none. When asked about her learnings in these courses, she had none. I thanked her for her time. I felt bad because she apparently went into serious debt expecting it to pay off immediately. Well, I don't have a fake degree, but I have a G. E. D. And people tell me it's like a fake high school diploma. I dropped out halfway through a two year course in it. I stuck it on my CV anyway early on in my career, and one day an interviewer asked for a copy. Photoshop and running the printout through a photocopier saved my bacon and got me the job. It ended up being a crap job that I left after a year. Though I didn't get caught it never do it again. Maybe it was the stress and worry it caused. Perhaps I have more integrity these days, but it's easier to have integrity when you have a boatload of experience and professional certifications. Well, I worked at a prestigious law firm for a year or two and made quite a name for myself. Unfortunately, one of my cowhawkers, this spineless idiot trying to make partner, turned me into the state bar behind my back, so I had to leave the firm and get a real degree. I enrolled at a local community college so I could meet the bare minimums without doing much work, but I ended up in a study group with a bunch of interesting characters while trying to sleep with this cute blonde in my Spanish class. Five years of hijinks later, I'm a teacher at the school and the group is still around. For the most part, anyway. Shame about that meteor that's about to hit the place, but hey, at least it was here. I have an undergrad degree from Caltech. It is a real degree, at one of the best schools in the world, but I cheated. Caltech has take home exams for everything, and I paid a guy to do mine for all 4 years. I'm an engineer that knows nothing of thermodynamics, body mechanics, heat transfer, fluid phenomena, calculus, etc. My dad's company faked a degree for him. He's a programmer, and he helped start this company with these two fancy business people who couldn't deal with the fact that he'd gone to college and not graduated. One day my dad looked at the company website and it said he had a degree from the place he'd gone. Then later in the day one of his employees came in and said he was supposed to instruct my dad in how to lie and say he had a degree and what degree he had. They even got him a fake diploma. The worst part is that most of his employees don't even have degrees, they just couldn't deal with an executive not having one. I got my HS diploma from Sally Struthers. It did me absolutely no good. I did all these workbooks and wrote essays and all the usual HS jazz, but it happens that after I finish I find out that it isn't accredited in the state that I lived in. Ended up taking the Jed. 
I'm a teacher and this year I had an NQT, newly qualified, start working with me, she was beyond terrible, and I voiced my concerns from the start, one day she was called into the office and just disappeared, after working at the school for over a month, turns out she wasn't qualified. How she got that far without being checked I will never know. My sister had a colleague for a while at a big international bank who worked there with a high school diploma in working with fancy horses, dressage or something like that. The job required you to have at least a bachelor's degree. Management thought that everyone who would apply for the job would also meet the requirements, so they didn't bother checking what kind of degree she actually had. She was hired based on her motivation slash personality. She worked there for about a year, doing a really good job apparently, before it was discovered, and she was forced to look for another job. Completely the fault of the one responsible for hiring her instead of her using a fake degree, but I thought it was relevant. English not my first language, sorry for the possible errors.